Wow, last time was something else. <laughs> I'm not even sure what's left to, to do or say or talk about at this point because we killed the... We killed the murder cults that were... Uh, <laughs> have the eldritch old god and the in the mine, so... I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what happens now. I wonder if the the ghost is out of her head. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's... Everything is shapes, just dead shapes, and look at the dead eyes. Then you've got... When she was kind of floating in the, the space or whatever it was, when she walked through that pond and was then sleepwalking, like they said. Ooh. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, she sent that message that she didn't mean to send last night, so, uh... Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Uh-oh. God, I'm gonna have to do another band practice. <laughs> I hope I'm ready. <laughs> hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. <laughs> LOL. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. <laughs> God, I really like Angus. Oh, man. I'm gonna try to play a song. I, I'm not even going to record it, I'm just, or I'm going to skip over it, but I just want to make sure that I'm in practice for when I go down there, even though I'm sure they're going to play a song that I've never done before. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I played two songs, and I did okay at one, and pretty terrible at the other, so... <laughs> I guess that's what we got in store. Oh, epilogue. This might be the last episode, you guys. Which would make sense. As I said, it seems like most everything is done. But what all we can look at? There might be something in here now. Who knows? Anything new? Probably not. <laughs> I'm probably just wasting time. Grandpa, did you leave anything down here? Oh, shit. <laughs> at least May is doing alright. Look, she's back to her energetic self. It's not all weird and sleepy and headachey. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Aw. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Aw, she's... She must be feeling good, like she's got this kind of weight lifted off her shoulders and like demon removed from her head kind of thing. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. <laughs> Why do a family of cats have a bird anyway? I should like reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre, an influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. <laughs> I thought she wasn't going to want it because the whole shapes thing. May honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Yeah, I think she does want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom, or why? You know, sure, Mom. I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and... You are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules just because... Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... 
I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? Had a really tough year, Mom. I don't even know if I can tell you. Yeah, like... Not like in the way of, I don't know if I could tell you like I'm allowed, but I don't know if I could even put it in words kind of thing. I don't know if I can tell you. Why? I'll understand, I promise. I don't even know how to talk about it yet, I don't think. What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air! Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you too, mom. I'm gonna be visiting my mom in about a week and a half, so... This kind of make you know, gives me one of those sort of nostalgic feelings, because I know my mom's gonna be a lot like this too, not like... Because I almost died or anything, but just because she hasn't seen me in years, and <laughs> that's how moms are. Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Wanna hear one? Oh, sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din. I hear the Lord call their children. Bring it in, bring it in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord call their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is, it is nice. Anything else, ma'am? just humming. Okay, well, I feel like I should try one more time just in case, but it's all right. We're just going. <laughs> oh! Dad! Oh, look, there are some snowflakes. I saw a lot. I saw a snowflake. God, I haven't seen snow in a long time. Like, for real snow in a long time. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff, but this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't. Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything I can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. Mate. Thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. <laughs> so he kn he knows the story about the tooth. <laughs> oh, that's great. You just, you show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. 
I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. The tooth. <laughs> what are you doing out here, by the? What are you doing out here, by the way? Uh, sorry, my reading is a little off. Let me take a sip of water too. Got a dry mouth going on. <laughs> Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're still a small fry, Dad. He's just enjoying it. Is he going to say exactly the same? Yep, dum de dum Okay, I'm going to go check out there and see if I get a visit from Rabies. If not, then I will see you back in town. Oh, look, there he is. Hey, Rabies. I bet your life is exciting. Playing with your friends. I mean, you're a champ. you got to be popular. Eating garbage and common pests. I feel like I'm just glad the world includes you, dude. <laughs> Alright, I got a jet. See you later, rabies. Stay cool, stay alive. Ah, nice. Anything else? If not, back in town. Wonder if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like, deluded. But it'd be real nice. If there was a god, I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like, proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. So I don't know if I'll need to go up at all. Is Dad gonna say anything if I climb up? No? No comment. <laughs> You know, if he wants someone to hang the lights up, who better than the girl who can climb up on all the, <laughs> the like, telephone wires and phone, the telephone poles and I can't talk. <laughs> oh look, Mr. Chazikov is there. Oh, we get one last time in with him. Are there any more constellations? We might have gotten them all at this point. Somebody's laundry? I should start doing my own laundry. Sometime. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I'd kicked that that far. Oh yeah, I need to get a running jump. Oh, I might have missed. Oh, I did miss. Oh, crap. All right, once more with feeling. There we go. Mr. Chazikov. I'm here to burn my retinas. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Hey, come on, please. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, this one's nearby. Is that it? Oh, it is! Found it! Let us consult the guide. Oh, how do you say that? I... I don't know if that's Erskine or Erskina. Wherever this might be from, <laughs> depend. That will help to get the pronunciation. I assume that it's probably a language that has uh, all the vowels pronounced, so I'm just going to do that. Erskina the Firemaker. The Firemaker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it, for light and warmth. Sounds festive? Sounds like survival. Hmm. This star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them and we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them. But we have, ha but we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. 
Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. Some crazy constellations you got there. Oh, I got the achievement. So, what now? Supermoon is coming! What is that? A giant moon! Oh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You can- Here, you come, I will make the hot chocolate. What a time! That sounds great! I want to see a supermoon! Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. God, I wish I, I could have done more of an accent for him. Some kind of, like, Eastern European kind of thing. But I think I'd really be pushing it. Oh, look, they're still alive. They weren't the people. Oh. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Thank you for your wisdom. <gasps> Selmers, do you have one more for me? Hey, May. What's up, Selmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. No mo no poem? Oh, Selmers, I'm disappointed. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down the goddamn hill. Colleen! Half tempted to just close this road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good, let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea, that's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine, we'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important. And the most thought out. What the? We gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all agree for... <laughs> I'll agree it's too cold for water balloons. <laughs> yeah, Kathleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Collie. <laughs> we could just hire some private plows. If you want to go... If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and states. Collie's right on this one, too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. Alright, well, now that's settled. What are we going to do about the roads? <laughs> God, these people. Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. <laughs> God, these people. You know, in real life, these people would be insufferable. But in something like this, they're just kind of fun. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to have to go to see Greg for band practice. So I might... Um, I think what I'll do is I'll go up this way first today. See Pastor K. I don't know if there's anything that's gone on with her since uh, since Bruce left. God, I hope that he wasn't tossed into the pit. She's never in here. Why do I even come inside here? Just an empty room. Hello? Yep, and Mom's not here, of course. She's not working today. And there's the library. Can we get another visit from Grandpa? 
Okay, I waited and nothing happened. I really want to get everything, but I I know I've missed things, and even though um, one person said in the comments that I haven't missed that much, I still feel like I've missed a lot. <laughs> People's cars. Uh, this guy again. What you got to say about him now? He'll look a, a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Yeah, I suppose he would. What kind of church is this anyway? First coalescence church. What's coalescing? Oh, here she is. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How'd the council go? Or the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... You tried. All we can do. And God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That would be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... Huh? <laughs> Run along, May. Well, yeah, she didn't necessarily say right now. Oh, nobody else out here. I still haven't had the chance to go to that water tower, have I? <laughs> I think I said that in like one of the first episodes. Maybe not first, because I couldn't come up to the church then. Maybe episode like five or something. Where is the shed anyway? I mean I know I can't go and get the um get the rake. But I don't remember seeing a shed. I guess it literally is behind the church, so it's therefore out of my view. up next. Let's see what we find up here. Is um what's her name up here today? Hello? Oh good. It's the epilogue. I had to come say hi. Hey, you okay? Hey. I heard you were like in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Um, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. So, you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Ah, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh good, that's good. killer. There's nothing up here, was there? It's a cat! Ah, oh, shit, I just jumped the wrong way. So, that doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> I think there was much anything else up here that I might want to see. Still go inside here and uh, see the uh, miracle rats one more time. Never found the food for them. Someone told me that I was really close to finding it. Is this anything new? Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. What's gonna happen to all this? I guess it's just gonna sit here until someone gets around and throwing it all out. I should like steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. <laughs> With the plastic flowers or what? Can I go in here yet? No, seriously, is this thing clearly marked as something it is not? <laughs> An exit. I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're gonna have a little chat. With my boot. Oh. Worst exit easily. <laughs> Sorry, I never got your food. <laughs> oh, 
Hope you don't starve. Nothing else here, noob. All right. You know, since I'm at the end of the game, just if you're out there and you know where the food is, just tell me. <laughs> just tell me where the food is. And then in my playthrough off camera, I'll just go and find it. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, whatever. You can just shut up. <laughs> there wasn't anything else around here, was there? Oh, these guys. So I'm gonna split. Part time? How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. The manager can't do much about it. The computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh, though. I laughed, too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. Aww. They can't watch the movie. We can all put in requests. Oh, man. I feel bad for them. Okay, nothing else right down there. So... Actually, what I could do is... I could go down and below and then across. And then check out that part of town from there. What if they took away Casey's flyer yet? Nope. Casey's flyer is still there. Ugh, he's dead. Ugh. Just shut your eyes. Ugh. <laughs> this game started so lighthearted. And then they threw a kid into an eldritch god hole. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It is a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. <laughs> Give me a pierogi! God. Are the band members that I found down here? Oh, look, they are. They don't have any pals with them? Can't talk to them either. Is that germ? It kind of looks like germ. Maybe his eye color is different. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, all right? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I wish those two playing the music would shut the F up. Hey! Watch it! <laughs> okay, Mom. <laughs> Nice little tune. Oh, where'd his friend go? Where's your friend? Why don't you talk to me? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. <laughs> Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you smelters fan? Ah, uh, well. <laughs> what is... <laughs> Taco bug. Taco artisans. Delivery delivery drivers all shifts $8 dollars per hour. God. Uh, I hate when they call things... <sighs> these very presumptive names. Like, you're making a taco. You're not a taco artisan. You're just a... You know... Taco... Person, I don't know, but not artisan. Every time I see something labeled as artisanal, and it's just like, this was made by a robot! It makes me very, <laughs> very angry. So, you're a taco dude now. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding this sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. 
but there is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. <laughs> wow. Our very own taco place. This is the best thing that's happened to this town since... <laughs> I got rid of all those snakes in the diner. Or if we got internet. <laughs> I'm interested in the snake story. The owners were religious, and they called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and he yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set up traps. Nobody knows where they came from or where they moved in, but they're long gone now. God, life moves on, huh? <laughs> oh my God, they deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. God, I want a taco now. Who's that frog man over there? Oh yeah, he's gonna be at band practice. There's no one running the store. Hello, weird man. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. I've, uh, never seen you around before? I spend a lot of time indoors. But it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Is it working? <laughs> Probably. I mean, she's not... Her clothes don't look especially warm. Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. But then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm going to put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. <laughs> Just being weird. Strangers. <laughs> oh wait, what about the... Did I pass the pickaxe? I don't think she's there, but I'm going to peek inside anyway. Oh, look at this guy. I didn't stop and say hi to him. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Well, kinda. I mean, all her friends are there, and probably not changed all that much. Look at that. Look at this animal back here. Look at the raccoon. Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. <laughs> Doesn't even remember today. It's just started. Come on. Sounds like you've been through something. How'd you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Ha! Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Heh. <laughs> oh, 
god, he's like doing a whole old man laugh that. <laughs> that was my old man laugh, thank you. <laughs> Wait! How do you know my name? <laughs> janitor. Mr. Janitor. Lord Janitor. Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. I like that it's right next to the three weird teams I met. Alright, yeah. Can't go in the pickaxe. So, we'll pass the Snalkin and go out of town and see if germ or anything is happening out there. And then we'll come back and do the, uh, the music thing. Well, there was absolutely nothing outside of town, so we're just gonna go in and see Greg. Greg. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like... relevant. Well, look who's live and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna do that thing where they insult each other or whatever. <laughs> Talk about how they wish the other person died a horrible death. You wanna get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. Still got Halloween decorations up. God, this door just does not like to open. But it's worse in the summer. So, did you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one, and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person, or do you not think they'll last or something? Oh, I was not picking that up, but I'm interested to see where you're going to go with that. I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change and meet new people and become new people, I think Angus is going to find he's got more options. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Geez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So like, how are you? I'm uh, good, or I don't even know. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna stick with the I don't know. I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing? Uh, did she see the cosmic horror thing? I mean, she did kind of get the whole, like, demon in the, the pit thing. Okay, the whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the... dads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on and there are all these bugs around it and then the light goes out and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. 
The world is extremely bad. Yes. Yes, it is. A uh, failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do, or... You have a choice. I mean, she could just go, but I mean, that would be also abandoning her father. But I'm gonna do some devil's advocate, I guess. I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there right out of sight, following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. We fixed that furnace. I fixed that furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. In the process, she rebroke the furnace, I think. Uh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion, killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder, or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like, drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. Work for us. So, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about- What? We should like do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. Sell barbecue. And you can see like the world's largest pierogi. <laughs> God, those stupid things like that. There's like a world's largest paperclip or something not too far from where I grew up. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. Thought you couldn't leave home because of your... issue? Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, LOL. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! I think God already has. There they are! Hey guys. What's up, nerds? <laughs> it's you who are the nerds? What do you think is out of work? Yeah, tell us about that. I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> wow. I mean, he did in real life too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? <laughs> probably or no? <laughs> I mean, probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. 
can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today could possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, when I was down there last night... Oof. Let's go with the coma. When I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future? Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> Finally you admit it. You owe me five bucks. Bet's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second, then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza! Yeah. Good enough. And that's the end! Wow. I really did enjoy this, though. Oh. <laughs> but I was so ready to do another, uh, another song. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this go through the credits, because, you know, respect to the people who made the game and all that, and if you don't want to check it out, then you can skip ahead. I don't know if there's going to be anything after the credits. If there is, I will definitely show whatever happens afterwards. And also, I'm, I know I'm going to play this again on my own and find out, like, you know, the hangouts with, um, with Greg and anything that I might have missed, because... I really enjoyed this and I want to just get all I can out of it. <laughs> um, well, also, since this is another game completed, I'm going to have some time freed up on the channel. So if you have any games that you'd like me to play, let me know. Otherwise, I have a list of a couple that I would like to do and we'll see what I pick out. <laughs> but um, I'm also going to be going on vacation to visit my family in about a week and a half. So videos might be a little slow in that time, but as soon as I get back from from visiting them, then I think that's what, right around the beginning of June, then I'll do some recording and get things going again. So yeah, if there's something you want to see me play, let me know in the comments or send me a message on Twitter or wherever. And yeah, <laughs> so if there's nothing else, that's it. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, Rip Casey. So there are a few pages missing. One of them just drew itself in. Was it that leaf? Wow, there are a lot more than I remembered. It starts with Rip Granddad. And it ends with Rip Casey. There it is. Alright, yeah, I guess this is actually the end. And thanks again. So I'll see you guys in the next game with the next video. And goodbye! <laughs>